nearly eight months after this crisis, on the doorstep of 200,000 American deaths, President Trump has refused once again to take responsibility or to take action. Folks, the President's first responsibility is to protect the American people, and he won't. That's utterly disqualifying. I trust vaccines, I trust scientists, but I don't trust Donald Trump. And at this moment, the American people can't either. A vaccine would offer a way back to normalcy and a path toward better days for all of us, not only here, but around the world. But it's not going to happen overnight. And once we have it, it's going to take months to distribute it to the entire population. The National Science Foundation is coordinating with the CDC and other agencies. They indicate that the first group of people that should get the uh, vaccine if and when it is available are people at the greatest risk. And that includes everything from nursing homes to people with serious pre-existing conditions that would cause people to be in real trouble. A lot of those people happen to be black and brown, happen to be black and brown. And so it would be based upon the degree of exposure. It would go first, though, I would argue, but I have a scientific board lay it out for me. It would go first, as laid out for me today, to first responders, doctors, and nurses, the people who most we're most needed to have available to deal with our crises, health as well as physical crises in, in our communities.